list of missions for you. Open your eye droid. That was a pretty goddamn seamless transition. That's really cool. Okay, can't choose any of that stuff right now. M missions, here we go. Please select a mission. I've taken the job offers Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. Oh, the objectives wow. of the missions I've added are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high-value target elimination. Probably all a walk in the park for you, but they should help you get back on your feet. I put the mission details on a cassette tape. Refer to it if you decide to accept the mission. We'll receive GMP for completing missions, and extracting soldiers and prisoners will boost our ranks. Building up Mother Base is the first step to achieving our goal. If that means wet work, so be it. We're gonna have to get our hands dirty. I hope you're rested up, because we're not stopping. Not until the pain is gone. The future of Diamond Dogs is in your hands. We're counting on you, boss. That's some pretty, uh, <laughs> morbid talk there. Guys, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid V, The Phantom Pain with Dude Long Couch. Uh, I get so can we go back and replay this stuff? Completed the mission without triggering reflex mode. Something about the man on fire. Restart. Completed the mission without allowing the man on fire to attack even once after meeting up with Ocelot. Oh, okay. So I guess th there's no GMP reward for that stuff though, I guess it's just bragging rights. So starting here, let's play the briefing tape. Farming villages in southern Vahan have been subjected to a strategic bombing campaign the past several weeks. The damage is spreading. It's part of the Soviet scorched earth operation aimed at wiping out the guerrillas. The target this time is the commander of a Spetsnaz detachment. He's been key to the operation's success. People say this guy's responsible for annihilating the Mujahideen at Dismasi Laman, the Hamid fighters, overnight. He's a tough, experienced commander. Don't underestimate him. The order for my client in the West is to shoot on sight. They want him out of the picture for good. Sorry, boss. This one's purely business. Wet work. A hit on a commanding officer of the Soviet military. Nothing personal. We're only doing this because it gets us one step closer to our goal. So this is basically an assassination mission, I guess. Eliminate the Spetsnaz detachment commander secretly involved in the Scorched Earth operation. The target and his recon unit have occupied Shago Village and are ready to meet an assault. Okay. That sounds easy enough, and we get 90,000 bucks for it, which is, I guess that's a pretty good price for an assassination, so... Let's do this! Mission accepted. Oh, wow, we get to pick our landing zone. We can change the map mode, heading top, aerial mode. North top, heading top. This is so weird. This is so involved. Alright, does it show us where the target is supposed to be? Um, I'm not seeing him. Wait. They said that he was in... Can we go back Mission out? Not accepted. No, I'm going to admit, the target and his recon unit have occupied Shago Village. Okay. So I have to look for Mission that. Accepted. Shago. Shago. I don't know what all these little numbers on the map are indicating. Oh, it's right next to me, you dumbass. Okay. So we probably just want to drop right here then, right? Because that's the closest thing to the to the target. All right, let's do this. Heading to Afghanistan. And we get to pick a loadout. God, there's so much in this game. I love this. All right, primary weapons. I guess this uh this MRS4 is pretty much the only thing we have so far anyway. Secondary weapons. Do we have anything besides the pistol and the bionic arm? No, we don't. Oh wait, we do have this. That's lethal though. I, I want to definitely want to take a trank gun with me. Support items. Magazine, hand grenade, we've already got all that. Wait, 
replaced weapon. Throwing weapon. What about the cardboard box? I thought I had that now. Where the fuck is my cardboard box? Or is that under items? There it is. Phantom cigar. Cardboard box. Got our NVGs. Don't have anything else right now. And lastly, let's look at tools. Fulton device. Scope. Okay, all that stuff's already equipped. Alright, I guess we're good to go then. Select a buddy. D horse. D horse is our friend. Equipment. We can equip the horse too? <laughs> Fuck. Vehicle. We have no vehicles just yet. And select character? For fuck's sake, so I guess at some point we can even play as different characters besides Snake. Do we want Olive Drab? Or do we want Tiger Strike? So it was bloody a second ago. I guess changing it out actually it's like a new pair. Now we're not bloody anymore. I guess we'll have to do that every time. We have no head option. No, don't cancel it. Uh, Alright, how do we start it? Commence mission. Drop time? Um, Alright, so that's 6 in the morning, that's 6 in the afternoon, or we can just do whatever the time the game is currently. I really don't know what's better, so we're just going to go with ASAP. Deploying. Now, uh... Just a word of caution, guys. I do apologize. I think I'm getting sick. I got, like, rust lung or something. I don't, I don't even know what rust lung is. I just have, like, a sore throat and a cough. So if my voice sounds weird, that's why. And if there's any prolonged duration of silence, it's probably because I muted the mic and I'm hacking up a lung. And I don't want to subject you to that. So, just so you know. Episode 3, A Hero's Way. Spetsnaz Detachment Commander. Your orders are to take him out. With skills like his, it'd be a shame to waste him. But I'll leave the method up to you. Boss, make your way to Deshago Calais and eliminate the target. Wait, does that mean that I could possibly capture him and use him in my base instead of killing him? Because that'd be kind of amazing. Can I just shoot him from up here? <laughs> That'd be so broken if you could just... Hey, there's my horse! Okay, here we go. Open world time. Let's start by collecting this shit. We can use compounds from plants to make medicine or poison for use in new weapons and equipment. Take a look at the plants list on your iDroid to see which ones we need. Then go find them if you get the chance. It'll keep the staff happy too. Man, there is so much to do in this game. I know I keep saying that, I apologize for being repetitive, it just... I can't get over it. Please specify a project. God, look at all this shit! Standard combat fatigues, we already have those, right? Uh, could research a shotgun, a sniper, secondary handgun weapon. The trank gun would probably be a good thing to take to level 2, right? Requirements have not been met. RD team has to get to level 7. Okay. So we gotta get more people. Now where is the plants that they were talking about? We can see what plants we needed. There's where we can request a supply drop. Resources. Maybe it's in here. Plant. So Wormwood and Golden Crescent are, are what they want, I guess. And 
oh, we can convert these to GMP. That's good to know. Okay. I like the idea that you don't have to do missions in, like, a specific order. You can actually go back and replay stuff to try and do better on them. Or just have fun, you know, find, try to find, like, different ways to do them. See if you can do better, collect more stuff. It seems like it'll be kind of easy to actually, uh, actually, like, farm stuff in this game. If you want to put in the time to just, you know, farm as much as you can so you can build up your base. Probably don't want to leave that stuff behind. That was interesting. Fancy little drum roll just for climbing on my horse. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? Rough diamonds. Those are raw diamonds. Collecting them as assets will raise our GMP. Cool. That was 10,000 GMP right there. That was totally worth it. Okay, so I'll, we got a marker here. I'm guessing this is the base that we wanted to get into. Right now I don't see anybody. Get a little closer, shall we? <laughs> I love that detail, that that military drum roll just for hopping on your horse. That's so cool. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. You have arrived at your destination. Okay, so we have definitely arrived at Shago Village. I really wish there was a way to climb up on top of that rock. Okay, so there's going to be 8,000 dudes with him. This is going to be difficult. This is like the first real kind of open mission. Is that him? Take a good look at their faces so we can ID the targets. Can't really get much closer than this. There's a guy. Oh man, stay out of that spotlight. Uh, what about this? That seems like it might be some kind of storage area. It doesn't appear to be guarded, but who knows who's inside. There's another guy. Maybe those are barracks. Hard to say right now. Ooh, a vehicle. I don't know how I'm supposed to identify their faces beyond just looking at them. It's a heavy machine gun. Packs far more power than any rifle. You can either use it yourself or destroy it. Either way, best keep in mind some way to deal with it. I don't know how I would destroy it just yet. I don't think I have C4 or anything. It's a metal drum. They must use their color to tell them apart. That one being filled with gasoline. <laughs> Explosive barrels. I like the sound of that. Boss, intelligence work is all about observation and gathering information. Start by using your binoculars to get a grasp of your surroundings. Alright, so the intel doesn't seem to want to actually identify any of these guys. Oh, there's another one I missed. A Soviet soldier. A lot of them came from Central Asia before, but lately they've been using more and more Russians. Simple, really. There's less hesitation to pull the trigger if they're not fighting their own race. Morbid cynicism, but it gets results. That's humanity for you. That totally is humanity for you. You're right about that. God, there's so many guys in here. I keep finding more. I'm really worried that, uh... What was that? He's listening to music in there. <laughs> oh, Lord. Guys, I don't even have the first idea how I should start approaching this. 
I kind of want to go check out that building just to see what's inside it. One thing I don't know is whether you can unlock stuff by finding it out in the map. Or if uh, you pretty much have to research everything that you're going to use. What would be cool is if I could interrogate this guy and find out the uh, target's location that way. Okay, now the question is, will this guy see me from there? I, I don't have a, an excellent grasp on the stealth mechanics yet. I know that it's way less forgiving than older Metal Gear games. Okay, so far so good. Got him. Simultaneous interpretation. So who has the interpreter skill? Where are your friends? Uh. Damn it! Alright, well, go to sleep then. You're no good to me. And let's go ahead and send you back to base. Now the question is, does anybody see that? Ooh, I got an extraction trophy. You gotta extract him. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, why not? Those materials have already been processed. It may not be much, but we can use them straight away if you bring them back to base. Alright, for a second I was afraid there was gonna be somebody up here. What is this? Will this actually cause an alarm? I wonder if this will draw everybody over here. Oh man, that could that could be a great distraction, or it could fuck me right from the start. Alright guys, for science, we're gonna try this. Oh, it's just a light. Turning lights on and off. You can turn searchlights on or off while operating them by pressing right on D-pad. The same button is also used to turn off vehicle headlights and flashlights on guns. I'll definitely have to remember that. Alright, so let's turn that off, I guess. I don't know if that really does me any good right here, but... Now I wonder if I can just drop down here without dying. Cool. Uh, hold on. Yep, there's a dude up there. He's not looking this way, though. So my hope was that I would be able to use the guy that I just folded as an interpreter, but I guess he doesn't have that skill, or maybe he doesn't speak English. I have no idea how you go about finding somebody that can actually do that for you, but I'd kind of like to do that, like, ASAP, as soon as possible. Because not being able to interrogate these guys fucking sucks. What? Did that guy hear me? Oh, I'm knocking over the barrels. Is he coming down here? Oh god, he is. Alright. Should be able to grab him before he sounds the alarm. Come on, buddy. Grab him! Oh. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. <laughs> uh, let's send him back, too. I'm just gonna be folding as many people as I can, just to raise my base level. And hopefully one of these guys can interpret for me. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. 
It's actually pretty fucked up if you think about it. So we're basically capturing these guys and torturing them into working for us. And you saw how those guys on the base were as far as like... Those guys were fucking ready to die for me, man. Like, I must be- the brainwashing on Mother Base must be, like, unreal. Just through the roof. Alright, can I get a good look at faces here and identify my bro? Keep in mind that time doesn't stop while you use the iDroid. You can even move around while using it, but pay attention to your surroundings. Man, I don't know how I'm supposed to identify him. He said take a good look at his face. Do I have, like, a picture of him or anything? Why is this guy coming this way? Okay, he's going back. Alright, hold on a second. Missions... Oh, is that the name? Is that the... That must be his face right there. Okay, so he's got... He's got like a beret on with a golden thing, and he's got a mustache that kind of comes down into like a like a half beard kind of thing. Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to use that. This is like real detective work. This is awesome. Although it's hard to make out faces when it's this dark out. It's not either of those guys. It's not him. Probably not him. You'd think that the game would, like, show you, like, like it would keep his facial model exactly the same. But when it comes to Metal Gear Solid, I'm not going to take anything like that for granted. What's this? Nice. Why is it telling me about rolling again? While prone and readying a weapon, you can quickly move left and right by rolling, tilt left stick either left or right, and press it in to roll in that direction. Right, so we can move like this, or if we click the stick in, we can do this. It's pretty cool. I feel like the controls for this game are like, absolutely... Like, from what I've seen so far, they're pretty much perfect. It's just a matter of like, getting to know them, and uh, mastering them. But I feel like once you do, you'll be able to really do some amazing things. Oh, man. Alright, we're getting into the belly of the beast now. This is probably going to be noisy. Ooh, okay. That's definitely not the guy. I want that tape. I want all the music tapes I can find. Either destroy that, or turn it off to shut off all the lights and surveillance cameras in the outpost. But of An outpost power system can be disabled either by turning it off or destroying it. Doing this will shut down the outpost lighting and surveillance cameras. Although using the switch to turn it off is the quiet approach, be aware that the enemy will sense something is wrong and come to investigate the equipment. Of course, the enemy will realize something's up. If you're gonna do it, be quick. I don't think that would be in my best interest right now. I think that's probably a, a really bad idea. Considering I'm right in the middle of all these dudes. Fuck. Dude, is that him? I think that's him. Oh, uh, what? Who has seen me? Fuck. He knows something's up. Oh, I need this guy to move. Oh, 
How did he not hear that? Are you even serious right now? Alright, this guy doesn't speak English either, I guess. What? Fuck. Oh, that was 0%. That's gonna fail. Fuck. Oh, because there's a roof. Duh. Shit. Why do these guys know I'm here? Oh, this sucks. Please go away. Please go away. Yep, you can go to sleep. Is that guy seriously just gonna walk away? I'm okay with that. Shit, 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 shit. I did not mean. Boss, I gotta say it would be a waste to kill him. But putting him to sleep doesn't count as eliminating him. I know. I want to extract him. Okay, so you have to grab him first, and then, and then mash on R two to to do the the stealthy knockout. I just fucking beat the shit out of him right there. Shit. There we go. Okay. Okay, I gotta get him out of here. First, I gotta grab that tank, or the cassette tape. Shit, wrong button. Mine. Kids in America. Okay. I actually have a 9% chance to extract him here. I don't know what changed. I thought it was zero before. What if he wakes up while you're carrying him? That's my question. Can I throw him out here? I'm probably going to get spotted if I do that. Is there another way out? I think I have to risk it. Those guys are totally going to see me, though. Shit. Where is he? Who sees it? All right, fuck this. Just get out of here. Did it work? Target secured. I'm getting out of here. We sent the target to a place outside of heaven. Boss, your objective's complete. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Don't hang around. I don't plan on it. I'm fucking leaving. That sandstorm probably could not have come at a better time, by the way. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, I think I'm safe over here. I think they have no idea where I am. Let's call in the chopper. D-Horse, come to me. I need you. I can't believe I actually got that guy out alive. I never thought I would actually be able to make that happen. That's so cool. Guys, I did it right. Kind of. I mean, I got spotted. But it was like right at the end, so it didn't matter. And I thought that still said it, it was only a 9% chance of extraction, so I must have got, like, super fucking lucky. Which is mind-blowing, because I don't normally have that kind of luck in these video games. <laughs> it's so cool how they, uh, they stay marked even this far away. Yeah, they can try. They ain't gonna find me all the way out here. Shit. 
So hold on a second. Are there more objectives in here? This is Pequot. Have arrived at LZ. We'll stand by. There's at least three more objectives. But I guess you have to find them. I don't know what they are. Alright, let's just get out of here for now. I don't want to fuck this up. I actually got that guy out. What would be awesome is if you could just fire into that base as like one last fuck you as you're leaving. Extraction arrived at mother base. Soldier times three, bunch of rough diamonds, support leveled up. Complete. Boss. And a B rank. Eesh, negative 5,000 on the enemy combat alerts. That's a, that's a pretty major penalty just for getting spotted one time. And I did take one hit, apparently. 80% accuracy, though. That ain't bad. 13 markings. No effective interrogations. Prisoners rescued. I guess there's prisoners to find on there. Who knows where they are? No retries, no kills. All that shit's really good. That went pretty well for me. I'm okay with everything that happened there. Made 278,000 bucks. That's pretty damn good. Heroism is up a little bit. <laughs> and of course we have to roll credits. Probably just skip those most of the time. We got the At Mother Base cassettes. Sport helicopter armament can now be developed. Cool. How you feeling, boss? Getting used to being in the field again. Having choppers and a horse at your disposal is indispensable for operating in the wilds of Afghanistan. I've gone ahead and arranged for you to be able to develop and customize weaponry for support choppers. And you can also develop new equipment for D-Horse if you like. Use your iDroid to start development as needed. Oh, I plan on it. Does that mean that I can have the chopper come in and actually, like, be shooting at people now? Because that would be amazing. I'm an elite soldier. A plus. So this guy, he's got an A skill. I guess that's combat. He's got the gunman skill, language Russian. So. Okay, so the ranking system goes all the way from E up to S plus plus. So I guess B is actually not that good. <laughs> that's like, that's on the lower end of the spectrum. All right. We extracted this dude, who has the Physician skill. Midnight Panther is a diplomat. Does that mean he can translate? Give me somebody who can translate! And we got a volunteer, Dizzy Centipede. Cool. Alright, I gotta go into the Mother Base menu and see what all I can do now. You think with three guys I would have leveled up something? Side ops list updated. By connecting your iDroid to the Mission onboard computer, updated. you turn the chopper into your own aerial command center, or ACC. Some elements of staff assignment and R and D of weapons and items can only be performed from there. What? Take as long as you need to consider all your options. That's very strange. Let's take a look at our cassette tapes. The Man on Fire. Music tape one and two. Wow, look at all this shit we got. This is crazy. Okay, here's the ones I'm picking up in the field, I guess. <laughs> wow, it even included a, like a real control panel for this stuff. That's insane. Alright, let's take a look at viewing the iDroid's help menu. You can view the functions and features available on the iDroid's menu by pressing left on the 
touchpad while on any of them. Okay. I want to develop stuff. Buddy equipment. Let's see what we can give our horse. Battle dress. Reinforced with bulletproof ceramic plates. Oh, that sounds pretty damn good. I guess that's the next level of uh, battle dress. 50,000. We have, we've got plenty for that, but we're, our R&D team's not high enough. Fuck. Uh... It has the L1 and R1, but I can't actually cycle through it right now. What about our helicopter? So the only thing we can do is the speaker. Heavy duty outboard loudspeaker. Sound broadcast device developed to raise friendly unit morale in a form of psychological warfare against the enemy. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, I want that. Give me that. Speaker has been developed. So does that mean it'll actually play stuff? Like when I call it in? Because that's kind of amazing. Can't do any of that shit yet. Alright, let's look at a look at weapons and items. Oh man, there's so much stuff in here. Luminous and signal used to call in a support helicopter. Restricts mission completion to an A. So this lets you call in the chopper anywhere, but it, you can't get more than an A on a mission. Alright. Uh, Desert Fox Fatigues, that's probably a good thing to have, right? It's really cheap, too. We'll get it. Can't get C4 yet. I really want that, though. And can't do that. Submachine gun. Oh, wow, we can develop a shield. We still have a lot of leveling up to do if we want to do any of this shit. I can't believe how much stuff there is. We can even upgrade the Fulton device. Man! Olive Drab. Square. Look at all the different... Good God, look at all this camo we can develop, too. This is fucking unreal. We can get a real sneaking suit. We can get a wet work suit. I can't wait to do all this. I really can't. Alright, so we're going to have to do more missions and level up our R&D department by bringing dudes back, I guess, but... Holy shit, guys. I can't believe how much stuff is in this game. And one last thing I want to try in this video, I want to see if I can assign a music tape to uh, our helicopter. Set helicopter music. The track has been set as your sport helicopter arrival music. That's awesome! So now it'll play that anytime it comes in. That's so good. I love this game. Game of the year, guys. Game of the fucking year. Okay, we're at 2% completion. There's a lot to go in this game, guys. I'm going to keep pumping these videos out as fast as I can. I hope you'll keep watching, because I'm loving this game. I hope you are, too. So, thanks so much for all the support. It means a lot to me, guys. I'm Dude Long Couch, and I'll see you next time. Later.